Welcome back students. We begin with rational numbers exercise 2F for class 7. My first question, find the multiplicative inverse. You are already familiar with the word inverse. Inverse means opposite. Now here we have multiplicative inverse. In multiplicative inverse, we do the reciprocal of that number. For example, I have 6 upon 25. So my answer will be 25 upon 6. My next question is minus 3. Now rational numbers, we know minus 3 means minus 3 upon 1. So my multiplicative inverse will be minus 1 upon 3. I hope you have understood now what multiplicative inverse means. Next, we'll go to the next question. Evaluate. Evaluate minus 27 upon 32 divided by 9 upon 16. You know your integers with their signs. Now, plus divided by minus makes it minus. Now, here I have minus divided by minus. My answer will give me plus. So, let's ignore the signs and let's begin with the sum. So, it is 27 upon 32. Divide becomes a multiply sign, multiplication. And 9 upon 16 will give you the reciprocal as 16 upon 9. Now that I've got this, let us reduce 27 upon 32 into 16 upon 9. When I reduce, I get 9 ones are 9 threes. Here, the table of 16 you can directly use or you could use any other smaller table as 4 or 2. I know my table, so 16 ones are and 16 twos are. So, I am left with 3 upon 2. I hope I am clear with this. Let's go to the next question. I have 26. Now we are doing uh, rational numbers. So 26 means 26 upon 1 divided by minus 1 upon 3. Remember, let's check the signs. Sorry, it is minus 1 upon 13. I'll repeat my question again. 26 upon 1 divided by minus 1 upon 13. So, first let's check our sign. When there's nothing here, it means it is plus. So, plus and minus gives me minus. Let's concentrate on the next. 26 upon 1 divide gives you multiply. And minus 1 upon 13 would give me 13 upon 1. Let's not forget the sign. Minus. Now, in my rough column, let me multiply 26 into 13. 3 6 are 18. 3 twos are 6 plus 1, 7. 26 ones are 26. So I get 8, 13, and 3. So my answer is minus 3, 3, 8. So we finish with this question 2. Our next question, question 4. The product of two rational numbers is 2 upon 3. If one of them is 16 upon 39, find the other number. First, children, let's understand the meaning of product. Remember, product means the answer that I get after multiplying. Okay? Product means 
the answer that I get after multiplying. Remember the few terms in math. Sum stands for add. Difference is for minus. When I say product, it means multiply. Let's come back to the question. The product of two numbers. That means something multiplied by something is minus 2 upon 3. If one of them is 16 upon 39, I need to find the other number. So how do I find the other number? I can use x or we can also put it as number. Let's put it as number. Whenever I need to find my number, just put it as equal to minus 2 upon 3. This multiply here, when I shift that side, it becomes divided by 16 upon 39. You know your algebra, so you have understood this. We are finding x. So the number will be equal to minus 2 upon 3. Multiply becomes divide 16 upon 39. So my number is minus 2 upon 3 multiplied by 39 upon 16. Now minus and plus gives me minus. The sign is over. 3 1s are 3. 3 1s are 3. 3 3s are 9. 2 1s are 2 8s are 16. So the answer that I get is minus 13 upon 8. So my product is minus 2 upon 3. The other number is 16 upon 39. So our final answer, the other number is minus 13 upon 8. Question 6. By what rational number should 25 upon 8 be multiplied to get minus 20 upon 7? By what number should 25 upon 8 be multiplied to get minus 20 upon 7? I need to find this number. Alright, so x is equal to minus 20 upon 7. Multiply will become divide by 25 upon 8. So, x or you can say the other number is equal to minus and plus gives me minus. That's done. 20 upon 7 divide becomes multiply and we put the reciprocal. 8 upon 25. So, the other number is equal to minus. Let me reduce here. Minus, so 20 upon 7 into 8 upon 25. 5, 4s are 20. 5, 5s are 25. That's it. I cannot reduce further. 4 upon 7, 8 upon 5. 4, 8s are 32. 7, 5s are 35. So my answer is minus 32 upon 35. Next question 7. The cost of 17 pencils is rupees 59 1 upon 2 means 59 and a half. Find the cost of each pencil. The word each means find the cost of one pencil. So you're comparing Pencil and the cost of it. So, what is it? The cost of 17 pencils is 59 and a half. Find the cost of one pencil. Let us cross. Remember, I've already told you. Where you have two numbers, we multiply. And where there's a question mark, that becomes Divide. That's one way of understanding it. Second, when the cost of more is given 
and you have to find the cost of 1. Then you divide. And if the cost of 1 is given and you have to find out more, then we multiply. So here I get 59 and a half multiplied by 1 would give me 59 and a half multiplied by, sorry, 59 and a half divided by 17. 17 means 17 upon 1. Now when I multiply 59 into 2, that gives me 118 plus 1, that is 119 upon 2. Divide will become multiply and 17 upon 1 becomes 1 upon 17. So if you know your tables, 17 goes 1 time, 17 goes 7 times. So I get 7 upon 2. So my cost is 7 upon 2. We never use in fractions as 7 upon 2 when you are finding the cost. So let's convert it into a mixed fraction. 2 goes how many times? 2, 3 is a 6, 1, 7. So it is rupees 3 and a half. So let's come to the statements. You know you have to find out the cost. When you are finding the cost, begin with cost. So cost of 17 pencils. Rupees 59 and a half which is equal to 119 upon 2. Next, therefore, the cost of 1 pencil that is rupees 3 and a half. I hope you have understood this clearly. Let's go to the next question. Next, question 9. Let's read the question first. How many pieces each of length? Each means one. So how many pieces each of length, two three fourth meter, can be cut from a rope of length 66 meter? My total clock is 66 meters. Now, in your rough column, let's have pieces. And length. How many pieces each of length? That means one piece is two, three, four meter. Now, how many pieces means my question mark comes here. Can I cut of 66 meters? Let's cross multiply. As mentioned earlier, where you have two numbers, we multiply. 66 into 1 is 66 divided by 2, 3, 4. That means 66 upon 1 divided by 2, 3, 4. 4, 2 is 8 plus 3, 11 upon 4. Let's rewrite. 66 upon 1 divided by 11 upon 4. So when I rewrite this, 66 upon 1 multiplied by 11 upon 4 becomes 4 upon 11. 11 goes 1 time, 11 goes 6 time. So 6 fours are 24. So I get 24 pieces. So let's come to our statements. Number of pieces, I'm finding pieces. So I begin my statement with pieces. Number of pieces of 2 3 4 meter will be 1. Therefore, number of pieces from 66 meters will be 24 pieces. With this, we finish with this exercise. I have two fill in the blanks left. I will do that and you can work out the rest of the sums at home. The next question 10, fill in the blanks. Dash divided by minus 5 upon 6 is equal to 30. So my dash, if you see this in rational numbers, this is the numerator upon denominator is equal to minus 30. Now I need to find out x here. 
So x is equal to minus 30. Divide becomes multiply minus 5 upon 6. So x is equal to minus into minus makes it plus. So when I reduce 6 1s are 6 5s are 5 5s are 25. So my answer is 25 divided by minus 5 upon 6 gives me minus 30. The next, children see the difference. Here your x is or your blank is in the numerator. Here your blank is in the denominator. When you have something like this, exchange this sign. Let your x come here and let your 6 come here. So minus 16 divided by 6 is equal to x. So I get minus 16. Divided means multiply. Your 6 is 6 upon 1. So it becomes here as 1 upon 6 is equal to x. Minus into plus gives me minus. When I reduce, I get 2. Sorry, 2. 3 is a 6. 2. 8 is a 16. So my answer is minus 8 upon 3. So your final answer, minus 16 divided by minus 8 upon 3 gives you 6. I hope I am clear with this. With this children, we complete with exercise 2F. Thank you.